hey what's up guys so welcome back to today's video today we are going to look at how to make a drag and drop inventory system in unity and yeah so let's get started as you can see uh, we can uh, drag and drop each item in the different slots that we have and there is even a tooltip that we made so let me show you the actual setup in the project file before and then we move on to the code all right so here is the ui of the inventory and if i expand one of them you can see there are different cards that we have all right these are the slots where we drag it in this one is the actual track object and this is the tooltip so let's explore one card uh, as you can see here we've got um, we've got the item name the icon and then we've just got an overlay to indicate that it's empty we can drag things here and then here is the tooltip simple just a headline and a description uh, that's about it for this one and now if we explore the scripts i will see more about this later on you can see here that we have a scriptable object for each item and here is the actual structure of the object we have a name the tooltip the description and the icon so that's it so as you can see this is the scriptable object um, this is quite simple and self-explanatory we only have the data that we are using this is the card manager script which contains the item data and the ui elements that we need and as you can see here this is the awake method that contains some code that uh, refreshes the display and on pointer down we just set this reference and unset the tooltip on pointer enter we check if it's occupied then we set the tooltip as we assign this reference as the two card and when our pointer exit we just unset the tooltip and inventory that set item just adds the item and refreshes the display these two methods are pretty self-explanatory this is the dragging manager which keeps track of which card has been selected and then also modifies the position of the tooltip and the dragging card as you can see our last script the tooltip manager is basically just take the scriptable object and assigns the value to the ui and that's it uh, we have three methods here as you can see so we have now reached the end of this video and just take all these scripts and assign them to the different components and you'll get this system fully working so don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you have not already and before you go do leave do keep an eye on the comment section or the description because i will be releasing this as an asset for the unity asset store on this note i'll see you guys next time bye